I realize this early, but what was your first impressions of uh, Kingsley? Oh, love him. Love his length, love his ability. Very, very smart in the classroom. Um, you know, he's a cerebral kid, understands stuff, transition, transitions from the classroom on the field. You know, we, we got some technique stuff we got to clean up and work up a little bit, but uh, first impressions doing a really, really outstanding job. Was he much of a stand-up guy in college? You know, he did a little bit of both. I think early in his career, um, he was more of a stand-up guy, but this past senior year, he did play more majority defensive end. But if you did watch any tape, they did move him around. He did play some hybrid stuff. They bumped him inside, played over some guards, uh, you know, during some third down passing situations. So he does have some, you know, hybrid versatility that we're looking forward to utilizing. This week, Kingsley, Quay, Devontae, I mean, all the draft picks, feels like this organization is taking a huge swing toward defense commitment to defense. How exciting is that for you? Oh, great. You know, you love to have that, you know, especially as a team, you know, you're winning and striving for a championship and, you know, in the playoffs and deep when you're making a run, you need to have that defense, as we all know. So we're really, really excited to have the depth that we need also with the guys that we have currently here and infiltrating these these rookies in there. So, yes, it's very, very fun and relieving to have a defense and utilizing those guys and talents that we have. a stepping stone to, okay, can we take this group to the next level? Say that first part again? The, the building off the performance in the playoff game, you know, only allowing six points as a, as a defense. How much is that a building to allow? Yeah, you know, I wasn't here to really witness that, you know, but just watching it off the, you know, the film and the tape since the short period of time, you know, that I've been here. Yeah, I think there's some, you know, ham on the bone where you can get yourself better and doing some things. Um, you know, the depth part, like I mentioned before, is really, really going to show its true colors. Um, you know, the deeper and deeper you get into the season, you know, things happen, knock on wood, but, you know, you got to have those people to be able to utilize their talents and fill them in so you can continue your run. Jason, I don't know how much you've gone back and looked at Preston Smith's career, but he was in here, I don't know, a month or so ago, and you were asking him why it seems like he's an every other year kind of guy. At odd years, he's great, even years. And he, he admitted that he's aware of it and he thinks he's addressed it. What have you seen in him that, you know, maybe will allow him to not fall into that trap again? Yeah, you know, I, I was very fortunate to watch Preston and the other places that I was at, you know, and watching his career. You know, we tend to watch pretty much all those edge, you know, interior rushers, you know, as the seasons go on. Um, you know, I, again, I think some, you know, some nicks and bruises, you know, early on in his career hindered a few of those lull years that he's had. Um, you know, but fingers are crossed. Obviously, you know we we you know he he knows it. I'm sure he presented it to him. You know, and that's something that he's not wanting to strive to do. Either are we. You know, and and it's too bad you guys keep bringing it up to him. You know, <laughs> shut up, don't say it anymore. So you know, I mean, but yeah, it's it's a it's a part of it. You know. Yeah, but the fact that he's a guy, I mean, he's not shying away. He's no. hiding from it. That's got to be a good. Thing. That's a man, if you ask me. You know, you're going you're gonna to get questions. You're going to be out there in the limelight, 100,000 people out there. You, you better be able to shine, and people are going to put, you know, that higher, hot iron to your rear end, and, you know, you're either going to just let it burn or you're going to take off and get away from it. So, you know, I, I, I think he's going to, you know, take it man-man and take it by a face and understand that, you know, I am going to get better from this, and he will. So maybe it's a good thing he's aware of it. We keep it. <laughs> Whatever that driving <laughs> force is, you know what? Then that's that's what we're gonna need. But yes, maybe it is. Is that someone you walk into a room with and immediately notice their leadership ability? Oh, absolutely. I mean, his presence alone. You know, I mean, you you're dealing with a six five, six six, two hundred seventy pound guy. When you walk in a room, you're gonna know who the hell he is. You know. But yes, is he sit there as a nine-year, eight-year, nine-year veteran in the league and, and garner, you know, other people looking at him going, wow, he's done it for a while. I want to do that also. Yeah, absolutely. You've obviously been in this business for a while. Um, and these guys had some success in the past. How much of what you're going to coach is going to be your spin on things and how much is it trying to incorporate, incorporate what they've done in the past? Yeah, you know, Jerry Montgomery and I and the defense, we're working more together to uh, – you know, work together as a collective group up front, you know, and not just have a bunch of independent contractors, 
you know, where we know each other and how to work with each other. I think that's a special thing where Kenny Clark's going to be different than, you know, you know, Dean Lowry and Dean Lowry is going to be different than Preston Smith. But we all got to know who each other are, what our strengths and weaknesses are, so then we can play off each other. You know, and, and that's that to me is part of the deal of those guys understanding each other a little bit more. And I think that that's something that I can be able to bring in here from the places that I've done before. Jason, going back to the rookie camp a little bit with Kobe, you know, being the one that kind of yeah. got the job out of the trial. What did you see from him there? And what do you think you guys might have? You know, with him? Yeah, I, I really think that he's very, very smart. I mean, the guy was the mayor of Starksville, if you guys know and anything like that. You know, the guy's got a... If you know his history and where he's been, obviously Mississippi State, you know, he played with some really good players while he was there in college. Um, you know, some of these guys during, unfortunately, these, these COVID years, there's a lot of guys that stick around in college and they get lost in the shuffle and some things. And, you know, when you have an opportunity and you take advantage of that opportunity and you come out in a rookie camp as a tryout and show what you can do to the, you know, the GM, the head coach and, you know, the defensive coordinator, you know, that, that's a big step for that young man. And um, I, I'm really looking and excited about having Kobe here. I really am.